Hi everybody, so welcome to another video. So today is not going to be really be a, um, well, I wouldn't say major video. I would just say more of just like, you know, just another, another chill sit down video, really. So I'm not using my tripod, but, um, um, I'm just facing it at Zeke and I, I'll just face it at me for now. Um, cause I want to talk to you guys about something really quick. Uh, so you guys all know that I've been in Project Search, the student internship program for people with disabilities, and I'm doing some real life job skills training in my current internship, and we have two more. And we have to do three internships throughout the whole general school year, and this is our last year of transition. Um, not just at our transition program that we had last year, where all of us were. Um, also just... Last year of the transition program was, well, it, it's an, it's Project Search is this extension of transition, but it's really, they really put you out there because the, 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 the whole point of the program is employment, really. There's no like special therapy, like occupational therapy, physical therapy, all that stuff. That's why we have the, um, um, our fam, our families would help us get those services and like all that. Like we do have those services in place for us. Like, I still, like, I still, uh, have the need for orientation and mobility training when needed. That my twin brother and I need, since we both were part of SASID's visually impaired program. So you all know that I've been getting, I want to talk about some stuff just to clear some things up. Maybe there are some, I just want to clear some stuff up, like, just to, so everybody understands. And I'm going to show you something here quick, um, right after. So... You all, so like recently I had this EPM or an employment planning meeting. So once every month we all, we all have to create a presentation or Google Slides presentation that our instructor talks to us, uh, gives us. It's not like in school where in our IEP or individual education plan meetings where everybody, where the teachers would have, uh, would be presenting the meeting. We're the ones that present the meeting and create the Google Slides. There's some stuff that's already in there, but we have to add some extra things in there. And we're the ones presenting, so we're taught present presentation skills because in an, in actual employment, um, you uh, we have to present our own presentations and all that stuff. And uh, it's uh, we have to do those every month because um, it's to like show us uh, our mentor of our that trained us in our current internships, um, and as well as our supervisor or boss of the department really excuse that noise in the background that's the a neighbor's dog barking um zeke is laying right here on the on his bed he's just taking a nap him and i went on a walk earlier but anyways um so you have to excuse that noise in the background um i'm sorry uh but anyways uh so we do those every month right and uh Everything went really well, and one of the goals that I want to work on until my next EPM that my mom and my skills trainers and uh, employment specialists and our instructor and in, it put in for us throughout our work, uh, mine and Zeke's work day is, um, um, just uh, like helping on my tone of voice and working on uh, you know, like uh, what Zeke loves to do is that like when you start trotting, um, you'll see what I mean in this video, um. Um, I was being taught, I was, uh, held, uh, yesterday I was, I stayed in the classroom when everybody else left, uh, just to work on something quick before they sent me down to my intern, downstairs to my internship, or, or Zeke and I, um, at work all day, and, um, just to help out with my tone of voice and, like, just something that, they made it one of my goals, actually, to make sure Zeke and I are a good team, and they're really dedicated to helping me. And I know some of you are saying, well, you could have the guide dog school help it, which, look, I get it, but, um, that's only for major, um, that's only for major, major issues that I need help with. Like, this is something small that I could easily work with. And, you know, just working on my tone of voice and make it like, you know, like, make it like something playful or a fun game for Zeke because, you know, dogs, just like children, human children, they like uh, praise and um, excitement from their parents, you know, and like, I'm working on it. I'm getting better, but I still have some improvement. Not, I can't, I'm, I know, like, I, will, I wouldn't say I would be perfect. I would say more of like, just get it and making improvements. That's it. That would be the best way to put it. Um, and look, you all know that I'm a guy, I've been a guide dog user since January of this year, 2022, 18 to 2022 specifically. So it's been, it's been nine months, over nine months already. 
just about October 18th is going to mark 10 months, which is crazy. Almost a year. Um, about about half a year to almost a whole full year, which is crazy. I don't know where the time has gone. But, yeah, it's been great. It's just that this, those small improvements, you know. You guys know about that video that I've made about the improvements as a guide dog user, you know. And I think... And... Like, as you'll see in this video, like, I try, like, uh, they were showing me how to, like, do a trotting. Like, my mom, like, was talking, to, mentioning to them in my EPM about, like, what Zeke loves to do. So what they did was they incorporated that to make, make us a better team. And they've really dedicated to make sure Zeke and I are a good team. But to also help with my time management so I can get to my workplace on time, even when I gain employment. Because, you know, I chose Zeke to be in my navigation and I want to make it... Mm -hmm. And I want to improve, but I just need some assistance, you know. Excuse me, sorry. I, was I know, like, um, I have some blind viewers that, like, tell me that, like... And look, I appreciate it. I don't want anybody being offended. Look, I appreciate the, the advice and the, um, the constructive criticism. Because I want to improve on these videos and improve as a person, too. Being a guide dog user from more experienced ones compared to me. Just so, you know, you get the gist. Um, but the reason why I've been getting help from my trainers and all that, um, helping me with empl getting employment after these internships, um, when I graduate Project Search and get my diploma, um, it's not, um, they're only helping me because they want us to be a good team. And so that way I'm on time for work and stuff. And, you know, like, um, so that way just Zeke, so that we Zeke and I are successful as a working team and me um on time as a hard worker because I'm working on time management which is one of my goals this is all just one one of my goals in project search that I'm working on it's also to help me as just to being the handler of Zeke you know and because in public like if I'm struggling and uh, people see me struggling they may be concerned because if I Zeke is stretching right now I'm just watching him to make sure he doesn't hit his head on anything um because he tends to do that but they asked me if i was concerned about anything my skills trainer instructor and the employment specialist they asked me and the re and i will be i was honest with them and i'm going to be honest here um i I've, I've worried about G other people like looking at me weird making the happy tone of voice because i don't want to disturb anybody if i'm near so many people having a private conversation if i know i'm in a quiet environment or people telling me or judging me and saying like oh why are you making that quote-unquote silly voice with your dog when i shouldn't be worrying about it my dog and everyone else's dog in general likes those type of voices from people because i don't like how people are nosy because i know i'm not doing anything wrong with my dog i know I know that I'm training him properly when I when it's appropriate because I was taught by professionals and I just don't want people getting in my business and but what they told me yesterday and what I'm sure you got what you guide dog users are going to tell me as well which I appreciate um is that like stop worrying about people so much about what they think you're doing with your dog and worry about how you're talking to your dog and worrying about him because if i'm confident then people are not going to be concerned and they're just going to be like, okay cool a dog they'll just walk away and move, go about their lives it also goes along with how much vision remaining vision i have because i can see the people looking at me around me if they're up close i feel like i just have to work on not worrying about how other people are looking at me around around me and look, I know kids, I've ran into kids before, but I know that kids are curious, which I do like. I do, I like when they do that. And I'm sorry if some people may th think I'm coming off a little bit negative, but I'm only doing this video so that way everybody understands. And I like making these videos for all of you. And I know you all want to know what's going on with mine and Zeke's life. And, and I want to I wanna show people that the vulnerable side of stuff that not everything is all roses and stuff and that everyone's making improvements in in general really because and i'm trying to be um you know i'm just trying to be i'm trying to be honest here to the best of my ability and that's on file since i left uh sasset after all those years and being in the school system so 
yeah, like that's really all I have to say. And I'm, I'm going to show you this, like, like the first, like what they uh, showed me. Um, I'm going to, you're not going to be able to see too much because um, some people, some of my people were photobombing, but I want to respect privacy and stuff. And the only reason I'm showing this video is because I want to show you what we worked on yesterday morning before I, they sent me to my internship. Um, before we, before, you know, like all, um, before work. Um, I was the only one as well as my, my, uh, my instructors and trainers and all that. Um, show you what I did first and I'll show you the end results. So anyways, here we go. Enjoy. The first clip. Easy. Come on. Let's go to work. Come on. 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 That was a little bit slow, but here is the biggest improvement I made, which I'm doing from that point on. Zeke, come on, let's go to work. Come on. Woo! Oh, oh right. <laughs>